Hello, my name is Elizabeth Allen. Welcome to the Economy of One channel. I am so glad you are with me here tonight. Tonight, we're going to be talking about how to restore your joy. And this is a really important topic to job seekers or people in transition because a lot of us get stressed out. We have a hard time focusing on where we're grateful and we struggle to maintain a positive mental posture. So today I'm going to talk about just briefly, how do you stay focused on your joy? How do you return to joy if you've been stressed out or struggling with anxiety, fear, or doubt? So let's get right to it. Um, tonight we're going to talk about uh, the work of Marcus Warner in a book called Understanding the Wounded Heart. This is a fantastic resource. You can buy used copies on Amazon, or you can go direct to his website, which is deeperwalkinternational.org. And this book, Understanding the Wounded Heart by Marcus Warner, has an acronym called GAMES, where he uses the word GAMES for us to remember a powerful way to transform our mind. And I'm just going to read this to you and make some commentary because I think it's so applicable to job seekers. So appreciation is a powerful way to transform your mind. So very true. Practicing appreciation every day for at least five minutes can train your brain to think of joy as normal. So a way to return to joy is to start practicing appreciation. How do you practice appreciation? He has developed a tool using the word games and it works like this. If you practice five to 10 minutes of gratitude at a time, it becomes very instrumental in helping you focus your mind on things to be joyful about. One way to do this is to write a letter in a journal of gratitude. Another way is to close your eyes and focus. You can take a walk and do maybe a treasure hunt for things to appreciate on your walk. There's all sorts of ways to go about this. You can also do it as a group or in a couple by building your conversation around the following topics. So here are some ways that you can focus on joy. Number one, gratitude. This refers to what you have to appreciate in the present. Focus on living in the present. What makes you smile brings about joy that you can focus on in your current environment. Reflect on what you have to be grateful for in your life currently. You can be grateful for your sheets or a comfortable pillow. You can be grateful for a fan on your desk, for example. You can be grateful for a candle. You can be grateful for morning coffee. Oh, yeah. I am so grateful for morning coffee. I don't even think God holds you responsible really for what you do before you have your coffee, but that's just me. Um, it can also be great to take a look for things in people that you really appreciate in your current environment. You may not appreciate everything about them, but finding out what there is to appreciate is part of growing and sharing joy. The more you practice looking for reasons to feel grateful, the more natural it becomes. Eventually your brain begins to see gratitude and joy as normal. And I'm quoting direct from his work here and continuing to quote from his work. So gratitude is a way you can get back to joy, is focusing on what are you grateful for? Anticipation, that's a great second way to get back to joy. If gratitude looks for joy in the present environment, anticipation reflects on future events as potential joy. So as a kid, you might feel joy in anticipating cookies and milk when you get done with your homework. As a couple, you might feel joy in anticipating a vacation or a date night. When you lose the ability to look to the future, with anticipation, depression can become overwhelming. It's important to note that we're not looking for experiences and events that will remove all of the negative feelings in our lives. We are simply looking for any excuse to smile and feel appreciation. So is there anything you're anticipating? Uh, for me, I'm looking right now forward to fall weather. I'm looking forward to to it getting cooler and less humid. I'm based out of the Midwest. So for me, just, you know, it lightening up outside is a really good thing. And I'm looking forward to fall. What are you looking forward to right now? What can you focus on that can help you have an experience of gratitude because you're anticipating it? Another thing that's part of the game's acronyms is memories. Just as gratitude focuses on the present and anticipation looks to the future, 
Memories recall events from the past. For some people, it's a challenge because you can feel like every memory might be tainted with a sadness or a pain. However, if we give it some focused attention, most of us can remember moments of joy, pure joy. It's a great idea to come up with maybe your top five or top 10 list of happy memories. You can even sort them by categories, vacation memories, holiday memories, friend memories, sport memories, oh yeah, <laughs> go Chiefs, <laughs> hobbies, the list can go on and on. People who routinely take the time to relive joyful memories from the past can build their capacity for joy and emotional stability. So what memories can you focus on that can increase your joy? Another way, the E, experiences. Another way to build appreciation is to create experiences that allow you to share joy with others. Sharing a special event like a picnic, a walk in nature, inviting a friend for dinner, meeting for coffee, and activities that allow us to make memories are great ways to build our joy capacity. Who could you connect with today to increase your joy? I just want to invite you to Thursday night at 6.30 to 8 o'clock Central Time every week. We connect by Zoom, and we um, pray with one another. We provide community and support, and this is a great experience for people who feel isolated because of COVID. If this is you and you feel very isolated because you're unemployed, because you're underemployed, for whatever reason, I just invite you to come join us. And I'm going to offer that particular Zoom link at the end of this call. And um, you can come. Please join us. We would love to see you. That would be a great experience that you could also anticipate. <laughs> songs. At the end of games, we have songs. Singing can be a great way to improve our mood. So can enjoying your favorite music or playing an instrument. Music often touches the heart in ways that go beyond reflection. Sometimes listening to music brings back happy feelings like a good exercise, especially if you can share your music with someone else. So this last weekend, I was in Chicago and I was standing at the subway with my daughter and this beautiful African-American lady was standing there and she was just interacting with people who were waiting on the subway. And she just started singing out of the blue. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me, brother, in his hands. He's got you and me, sister, in his hands. He's got you and me, brother, in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. And I just found myself so deeply touched with her singing. And it just meant the world to me to feel so connected to her. I started singing with her. And I thought before too long that whole subway station would be singing. How much does music mean to you? If you love music, let music lift you up. Turn on a beautiful traditional classic channel like Beethoven or Bach. That can totally fill your spirit with joy. Turn on beautiful cultural music. African heritage songs lift you up. So many songs can lift you up. Turn on music, the hallelujah chorus. Turn on music. I encourage you to turn on Danny Gokey's channel on Pandora. He's got a song called uh, Faith <laughs> and it's wonderful. Or the song, um, You Just Haven't Seen It Yet by Danny Gokey can change your day. Just turn it on. So the game's acronym, let's just talk about that for a moment, means gratitude. Return to joy by trying to focus on what you can be grateful for in your immediate environment. Return to joy by focusing on A, anticipation, what good things are coming that you could be grateful for. Return to gratitude by reflecting on memories that bring you joy, things that you can be grateful for, no matter what your situation today, things in the past that have brought you joy. E, experiences. Focus on things that you can do right now to create joy and forward momentum by connecting with other people and by recreating that sense of connection with community. And finally, 
songs. Oh yeah. You have the ability to just connect with joy by singing out and connecting with music that can transform your attitude. Uh, music has the ability to lift us and minister to our spirit. So I suggest putting on some very encouraging music to return to joy. These are quick things you can do to remind yourself how precious life is and how special you are. Please subscribe to this channel every week. I'm going to be letting um, this channel speak to the issue of soul trauma and how you can deal with a wounded heart. If you are a job seeker, if you are experiencing a need to forgive people, if you're experiencing a need to address trauma, all of the sequence of um, commentary from Marcus Warner dealing with understanding the wounded heart it's going to minister to you. So I look forward to uh, being a part of your life in these next few weeks. And I appreciate this change of format. It's a little bit more casual. I'm very grateful for it. And I encourage you, please, to subscribe to this channel and send it to anybody who might need some help. This channel has amazing resources. We give away a complete course on how to create revenue for you and your family. So that course is embedded at the front of this channel. If you look at the way the videos are organized, they're there for you as well. Please feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn, on Facebook, The Economy of One channel. I'm Elizabeth Allen. Thank you for joining me today. God bless and keep you.